Hey, it's Thomas Garlic 11 with another mini island tour of my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island of Letheria. I am once again showing you my forests because I've updated them yet again. So I'll get to the residential district soon after this. I've got just a couple little things to update with the residential district before I'm ready to show it. I've been doing a lot with that. But anyway, for the forest now. So I'll start off by showing, I forget if I showed this in the last forest video, but the Aegis Pond area. I only updated this slightly since the last time, assuming I showed it at all, I don't even remember. From the gazebo you can look out at the bamboo forest. Also, I really wanted to show the forests with all the snow. So that's another reason that I'm showing them again before moving on to other areas. Again, absolutely love the Tory Gate. Tory Gate is perfect. I wish I could find more places to use the Tory Gate. Walk through the bamboo forest. And it transitions into the regular forest. So over here, I have cleared out a bunch of stuff that was a combination of doing that for... Let's see. Yeah, oh, this flower isn't supposed to be here. So it's a combination of clearing out items to reduce lag. And also because I needed an area where I could put snow boys. But it's not enough area. It's enough area to spawn them, but it's not enough area to reliably make them. And I suck at making snow boys, so I have not made a single one all season. Still trying, and honestly, I'm not even trying that much because it's so annoying to make them without having a huge area where you can just use the 10 tile brick. But eventually I'll do it because I want to get some of those DIYs I haven't yet. It's just no motivation to make them. It's too much resetting. I love clusters of trees like this that have the snow all over them. It looks really amazing. Just really nice thick forest. Over here we've got Pekaway's house with her grape farm and then regular garden. To be honest, this area kind of looks a little weird in the snow because it's a lot of red. Doesn't quite look right with all the red and the white. Outlook Park over here. Also, I'll just quickly show this now finished little section. Actually, yeah, I already showed that with the hot spring. Never mind. So, Outlook Park, no real changes with Outlook Park. It's just nice in the snow. Though the best time for this area has to be either the spring or summer when everything's green around it because then it actually looks accurate to Outlook Park. Which is supposed to be a nice bright green. And now we come to the main thing that was updated with the forest yet again. I have shrunk down this magical fairy forest area even more, condensed it, giving it a cozier feeling, and letting me expand my lake yet again. Glowing Moss Pond is amazing. Really need to 
do a nighttime tour eventually. Once I've gone over every update area, I'm going to be doing a nighttime tour again because everything looks better at night. I mean, I could just be time traveling to show it at night right now, but as you can see, I'm recording this on New Year's Eve. So don't feel like time traveling for that when I want to actually experience the nighttime event stuff. So we have the confetti machine. I have the confetti machine positioned so that it blows right into the entrance here at night because the wind always changes direction from day to nighttime. So another reason that this area looks even better at night. Also, you can't hear it, but I have a bird cage over here. And wait, where is it? Well, in Somewhere around here I have a birdcage hidden behind a tree so that there's bird forest sounds. You can't hear it because I have the sound off since I do not have a capture card. I'm just recording the screen and I don't have a good way to pick up the mic. Well, I don't have a good way to pick up the in-game sound on my mic. Then over here, a little campsite. Nene and Kino at the campsite. So one thing I really do not like about winter that wasn't an issue before but it became an issue now is that the glowing moss doesn't glow in the winter. Why? That's so unfair. Why can't it just glow through the snow? Why can't you have snow over it and just little glowing spots coming through? It's not fair. I put all this glowing moss out for the lights. But yeah, since this is a fairy forest area, significantly better at night and a lot more magical looking. With all these holly bushes, those look really great in winter. So that's it for the winter updates to my forest areas. Probably once winter's over, I'll fill this area in again with more bamboo trees. I don't know, or maybe I'll just leave it as an opening. I don't really have any clearings on the island, so I guess I could do with leaving a clearing. So I think I'll do the residential area next time. In two weeks, because next week I've got another Xenoblade 2 Blade buff video coming out. So in two weeks I'll have the residential area of my island. Where I've got a really nice convenience store that I set up. So, see you next time. And if you watch to the end of the video, then comment Blossom Dance down below. And see you next time, again. Because I forgot to put the comment message... I need more practice with this.